So you want to know the best way to play with the national team of France? Well, that's great because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get the best out of this team. All in my opinion, of course, based on my own play style. I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup tactics and instructions, and also a full set of game plans that you can use during the match. If you are leading and want to defend your lead, you don't want to consider any goals, then you are switching to a more defensive formation, of course. And if you are need some goals, if you are about to lose the match, and you want to play more attacking, then you can switch to a more attacking formation. I'm going to show you all of that. So if you want to try it out yourself, start up FIFA right now, get your controller and yeah, take all the settings that I already set up and yeah, watch the whole video to uh, yeah, set it up the same like I did. But before I begin, I really wanted to ask you to drop a like under the video. It will be really helpful for me and my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel, I want to find your way back really easy. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Doing lots of tactic videos for different teams. So if you have a suggestion for me or just a question, drop it in the comment sections below. If you want to see a specific team, you can ask me in the comments and I will see what I can do. I'm doing also an RTG and Ultimate Team and also some tutorial videos. So enough to see, I think, on my channel. All right, let's start now with the formation for France and it is maybe a bit crazy but this team has some amazing offensive power and I want to use all of it so a bit more attacking than you maybe uh, yeah, expect from me that uh, you are supposed to be uh, playing but yeah it is so much fun to play with this team really really attacking what I do is I put uh, on the 3-4-3 diamond formation and uh, normally these players are playing like wingers so if you are choosing this it's like this but what you can do in online seasons is press the square button on Xbox I don't know or on PlayStation I don't know exactly what it is on Xbox but you can see it down in your screen and there you can switch the players to yeah not to every possession that you want but almost to every possession that you want put them more central and then put Dembele on left striker and Mbappe on right striker and now you have three strikers and this is working really really amazing with this team all right uh, I'm gonna show you the other players my not is the goalkeeper you can also choose Loris if you want it doesn't matter that much just pick the player the, the goalkeeper that you like the most uh, Kunde, Varane and Kimbembe are the center backs I think these three center backs are in the top five in FIFA from the best center back so we are just playing with three center backs they are so amazing good that yeah that that it is a really good 3-0 there in the defense then we have Pogba here as the defensive midfielder, Kante is not in the squad at this moment in FIFA. You can, uh, yeah, maybe in the future he will be back in the squad. Then you can replace Kante for Pogba, of course. But yeah, now we do it with Pogba because Kante is not here. The right midfielder is Komen. The left one is Hernandez. Hernandez is a left defender normally, but his high attacking work rates, his pace, uh, yeah, he is really amazing player in my eyes uh, and on the left side of the midfield he's doing an amazing job uh, the attacking midfielder is Nkunku uh, Mbappe is the right striker Benzema is the central one and Dembele is the left striker if you want you can switch Mbappe and Dembele but yeah, for me this is good uh, but if you want you can swatch them. It uh, swap them it doesn't matter that much for the tactics at all all right, let's go to the tactics. Uh, press after possession loss with a width of 40 and a depth of 60. Build a play, balanced, chance creation, direct passing. The width is 30. Plays in the box, four bars, corners and free kicks, both two bars. So this is the starting formation. I didn't say that before. But this is just the starting formation. And with this, you can really overwhelm your opponent with the attacking power with the pressure score some quick goals you saw that at the beginning of the video if you didn't saw it or didn't pay attention to it you can look it back and see the score line see the time that has passed during the match they are rage quitting so early you can really overwhelm your opponent with this formation and tactics maybe it takes some practice if you are not supposed to play or not used to play like this maybe it takes some practice but it is really worth practicing in my eyes all right the instructions all the center backs are just default Pogba cut passing lanes balance attack and cover center and why balance attack why not stay back while attacking uh, it is because of the pressure if you 
uh, have Pogba with stay back, then he will really stay back. But with uh, the balance, he will go forward a bit. And then yeah, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players that are really pressing really hard on your opponent. It's so hard for your opponent to football around these pressure from these fast players because all these players are really fast. Um, they are so quick to recover the ball. It's really hard for your opponent to football around that. So try to make use of that. And Pogba, with the balanced attack, he's going forward a bit more and then he's helping with the pressure more than when he is on stay back while attacking. So that is the reason why I have him on balanced. Then we have Komen, come back on the fence and stay wide, balanced support, not going forward because that would be a bit too much, especially from the beginning formation. Later, we are going to put them forward. But from the beginning formation, also Hernandez, come back on the fence, stay wide. Uh, then we have Nkunku, <coughs> he is just default. <coughs> Sorry, Mbappe. Uh, he's just default. No, he's not default. Sorry, this is because I just switched them. Uh, he's on getting behind. Sorry, Dembele also getting behind. And Benzema is on stay forward. So that's the only thing I changed for him. So this is the, 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 the beginning formation. After that, when you think, well, it's still a bit hard to score goals, but I am better than my opponent. I'm going a bit more attacking then you're switching to this one in game it's the same formation just Dembele and Mbappe put them as a left and a right striker exactly the same exactly line the same lineup tactics are still press after possession loss the width is 35 but the depth is even higher on the pitch more pressure higher on the pitch it's even harder for your opponent to football around that but it's also you are also a bit weaker on the defense of course so keep that in mind 75 depth the build-up play changed to long ball, so the players are making better runs forward, especially the left, the right midfield, and the left, the right striker. Chance creation, direct passing, the width is 50. Plays in the box, five bars, just one bar more. Corners free kick still. Two bars. Then the instructions. Defenders still default. Pogba the same in as the first one. Uh, this one is the same. Hernandez is the same. Uh, and Kunku is the same. And Mbappe is on stay forward on this one so getting behind and stay forward at the first one he was on balanced uh then Bele the same getting behind stay forward and benzema just stay forward all right this is the more attacking formation then we have uh the defensive formation that is the 4-4-2 flat formation and this is what you want to use if your opponent is too good to football around the pressure or maybe uh, he is is just a good player and the, the, the starting formation is not working it's too attacking uh, then you can switch to this 4-4-2 this is a more balanced formation and then maybe you can use this one uh, the right defender in this one is Koundé the left one is Hernandez so you don't need to swap any players uh, to substitute I need to say Komen right winger and Kunku Pogba are the midfielders then Bele on the left side Benzema and Balpe are the strikers tactics Defensive balanced, the width 40, depth also 40, the build-up play is balanced, chance creation is on direct passing, the width is 40, plays in the box, 4 bars, corners, free kicks, both 2 bars. Then we're going to the instructions, stay back while attacking for Koundé, centre-backs default, and Hernandez, stay back while attacking. Komen, stay wide, get in behind, get into the box for the cross. And Kunku, only thing I changed for him is get into the box for the cross and cover center. Pogba, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center. And then Dembele, the same as Komen, stay wide, get in behind, get into the box for the cross. Then we have Benzema, only on stay forward. And Mbappe, get in behind and stay forward. All right, now we're going to the ultra attacking formation. If you need to score goals, if the first two formations weren't attacking enough, then you can switch to this one. This is the same formation as the first two, the same lineup, but the tactics are a bit different. Press after possession lost still because I don't like constant pressure because your players are getting tired really, really fast. And when they are tired, the dribbling is worse, the pace is worse, the passing is worse, the shooting is worse. And when you need to score goals, 
you don't want these four things to be worse on your player. So press after possession loss, just a short period of time of pressure. If your opponent still has the ball, then your team is going to switch to balanced defending and then you need to yeah, recover the ball that way. Uh, the width is 40, not too wide, because if you are pressing and your whole team is really wide, then there are wide gaps for your opponent to pass the ball through. That's not what you want. So with 40, the depth is on 100%, just as high as possible, because you need to score goals. You are really high on the pitch with all these players, eight players pressing. It's even harder for your opponent to pass the ball around. Uh, we're switching to fast buildup. Maybe that is the thing that you want instead of long ball or balance. Maybe that is helping you to score goals, just switching this buildup play. Sometimes it's helping. Uh, chance creation, still on direct passing. This is for me the only way to go, by the way. I didn't say that before, I think, but direct passing is the one that is working the best. Uh, forward runs, balanced. Sometimes I'm using balanced as well, but forward runs and whatever we have, possession it's not doing something good for me. So that's why I'm not using this. Direct passing is the only thing at this moment for me, the way to go to. Uh, the width is 55, plays in the box, seven bars, corners, free kicks, four bars. So really much players in the box. Keep in mind that if you are losing the corner kick, if you're losing the ball, then you are really, really weak on the counter attack. There are so many players in the box. If your opponent has a fast forward, he's giving a high through ball and then yeah, nine out of 10 times you're gone. So keep that a bit in mind uh, with this, but you need to score goals. So you need to take some risks as well, in my opinion. Uh, the instructions, all default, defender, Spokba, good passing lanes, get forward because why not? Cover center, we need to score goals. So Pogba get forward. Coburn, come back on the fence, stay wide, get in behind for this one. Uh, Hernandez, come back on the fence, stay wide, get in behind. So these players are getting tired, so maybe you need to replace them. Keep that also in mind. Uh, Mbappe, get in behind, stay forward. Benzema, stay forward. Dembele, get in behind, stay forward. Uh, I didn't say that before in this video, but around the 60, 70 minutes, I would recommend to do some changes. Look at the three players that are tired the most and replace them. Uh, nine out of 10 times that will be one of the midfielders. You know, so you can bring in uh, Rabiot or maybe if it's a defensive midfielder, Hernandez or something. Um, you can put in Griezmann as one of the forwards or as the cam. You can also bring in Ben Jedder as one of the forwards. So, and then yeah, maybe you can also choose to have uh, Chouameni on the bench uh, to replace Pogba or something. Um, you don't need a goalkeeper on the bench in my opinion. I never subbed a goalkeeper goalkeepers are getting injured aren't getting injured they are not getting tired so why would you put a goalkeeper on the bench i don't know um so by saying all of that let's go to the last formation this is the most defensive formation it's the five three two formation this is the formation that i always use to defend it doesn't matter what team um yeah, I'm using Coleman here as a right defender. You can use one of these players as a right defender if you can't use any subs anymore. If you can, then you put in another defender, of course, maybe Hernandez or Digne or Saliba. It doesn't matter that much. You can put Koundé on the right side because he can play as a right defender and then Hernandez as a center back. It doesn't matter that much, but it's better to have a defender there than Coleman, of course. But if you don't have the options anymore, then you can play Komen or Dembele as a right defender as well. Uh, well, the defense, you can see Pogba is the defensive midfielder and Kunku Dembele are the central midfielders. The same for Dembele. If you don't have any options, you can play him as a central midfielder. But if you have, replace him for Chouameni or Rabiot or something for a real central midfielder. That would be better. Uh, Benzema and Mbappe are the strikers. Tactics is drop back because you want everybody to come back to help the defense because you don't want any goals against you anymore. You want to win that match. The width 40, depth 40, build a play, balanced, chance creation, balanced on this one. The width is 50, plays in the box, one bar, corners, free kicks, both one bar. Any instructions? Stay back while attacking for the right defender. Center backs are default. Hernandez, stay back while attacking. Pogba, good passing lane, stay back while attacking. Cover center, central midfielders default. Uh, Benzema, 
Only thing I changed is comeback on the fence and Mbappe drift wide getting behind stay forward. So he's the only player that is staying forward and it is because if you have the ball and Mbappe is really fast, he's going to make a run with this and he's staying forward. So he's around uh, uh, the middle of the field and with the drift wide and the get in behind, he's searching for the space on the left side, on the right side or when there is in the middle space, he's making a run that way. Look at your mini map. As soon as you ask the possibility, if you have the time, small bit of time, a, a nine out of 10 times, because your opponent is playing some pressure. So not focus too much on your mini map, but when you have the time, look at the mini map, look at Mbappe. If he's making a run, give him a high ball, a through ball, doesn't matter, but it, it will give you some time because the ball is going forward. It gives you some time to breathe, but maybe you can also go one-on-one -on, -one on the goalkeeper or set up just a normal attack because he has the ball. That is really, really important in my eyes. Um, all right, this is it for France. I hope you like it. Uh, if you try it out, I hope you will win with this, of course, because that's why I'm making this videos, trying to help you guys win more matches. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.